I have no reason to disbelieve it, although I am using StreamYard, which is still a bit new to me. And this camera, still a bit unfocused, bear with. Better, worse, or about the same. I think that's sharper. Good morning. I don't know what day it is. It's Sunday. <laughs> it is Sunday, the 18th of August, 2019. In the year of, in the year of our Lord, 2019. That's what you used to say, isn't it? People are coming into the chat, um, so let's say some good mornings to Mike's Graphics. Hi, Mike, hope you're um, getting better. To Kath Palmer, to Shazad, to Scooby Shaggy, and to Joni Kramer. Good morning to you all. I am later than I have been in previous weeks. Good morning, Lexi Licious. Um, yeah, I'm later than I've been in previous weeks for various reasons. One being that we left later than usual this morning. Good morning, Jason and Carrie and Kirsten. Yeah, we left later than usual. We took slightly longer than usual at Easter Compton and then we had breakfast. So, And then, no, that's not the only reason. Then I came home and had to clean up everything Molly had destroyed while we were out before I could come upstairs. So that was fun. Um, hi, Claire. Claire Count Juan. Juan Claire. Good morning, Selena and Joan and Crispy and Stephen Bennett. Hello, oh, I'm Jesse the reseller. Sorry, I didn't see you sneaking in there. Hi, everybody. How the devil are you all? Are you all well and behaving? Good morning, Josh. Josh woke up with a migraine, so couldn't go this morning. Guess who got all the good stuff because you weren't there? That would be me. I'm sorry you've got a migraine, Josh. I hope you feel better soon. You probably shouldn't be looking at a screen and listening to my waffle if you've not got if you're not well. Yeah, Cal says you've been waiting with bated breath, hoping I haven't been rained off. It was actually much bigger than I would have expected it to be, bearing in mind the weather. Good morning, Misha's mum and Margaret Stewart. See, it was a good old car boot this morning. And I've got a nice haul. Anthony's gonna bring some more stuff upstairs for me in a minute. But I thought I'd um he's 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 got himself BMX. So he's out there hooning around the streets at the age of 28 on a BMX. It's like Nick on his skateboard. Good morning, Claire Plant. That's two Claires. Claire Couch. <laughs> Good morning, Bronwyn from Australia is high on tramadol because of back pain. Sorry, you back, got back pain, but yay for tramadol. And Josh says his migraine's gone now, so that's good. Good morning, Joan Morris. I've, I think we're on Joan count of two now. There's a Joan and a Joan Morris. If we start counting everybody, we're just going to be all day, aren't we? Did I spend a billion pounds? I spent forty-four pounds to be precise. Twenty pounds worth of it is still downstairs. I say Anthony's going to bring that up in a minute. Um, this bag is only two pounds worth, so um, you're you're a bit close, aren't you? What are you doing so close? Did I ask you to come and cuddle up? I did not. So this was filler bag for two quid, which is why it's a random bag of. There's Claire Wiley. Are we on three Claires or two Claires now? I've lost I've lost count of Claires. <laughs> Buy too much stuff. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a bit, that, for example, I would never normally pick up something like this, but it was new and it was sealed and I was filling a bag for two quid, so I threw it in. It's I'm fairly sure it's worthless. It's um, bingo game, age five plus, so, so let's encourage gambling in small children. Um, it's not even GM games. I'm, it's, I'm sure it's worthless, but it was new and sealed, so I threw it in. Two Claire's, two Claire, Claire count of two. Not a Claire's, Dave. Good morning, Dave. Um, this I thought was interesting. These are melamine. If anybody feels like doing a bit of quick research, because I haven't had time to research because I shot straight upstairs to get online, they are melamine. Where's the camera? The camera's over there. Melamine mugs and plates. There is a name on the bottom. It says Misprint Home, which I've never heard of. There's the camera, there's the camera, there's the camera. The lighting's shocking as well, isn't it? That's, that's just not bloody work. It says misprint home on the bottom. You'll have to believe me. Good morning, Ian the Tap Doctor. Thank you very much for Natalie's Bacon Book. It does feature in this week's vlog. Good morning, Julie Garrett, DBG, uh, Lainey Ray. I think I don't think I've missed anyone. The weather in Bristol was pretty bad this morning, but it's brightening up now. Uh, good morning, Celia Scott. Oh, they're from Poundland, are they? Oh, there we go. Like I said, chucked in because it was new and sealed. I knew it was. I knew it wasn't going to be a the find of the day but threw it in anyway good morning claire james third claire of the morning claire count three <laughs> so yeah i've got three of these melamine mugs with um a kind of a stylized dandelion burst print and th where the hell is the camera <laughs> and three matching plates why is the camera point that's the, if the camera was pointing this way i still wouldn't be able to find it it rained very heavily just as we arrived I didn't go to Trench, Josh. I only went to East of Compton. It rained very heavily just as we arrived. Everyone who was outside got their stuff absolutely drenched. But it was still very busy. There was a lot of outside stalls and two full barns. So, but yeah, so it is a very 50s print, as Lex has just said. However, it does say on the back, 
dishwasher safe, not microwave safe. So I don't know when dishwashers and microwaves first. Can you see? You might be able to see that if I hold it like that. Can you see that on the back? I can see it on my screen. I don't know if you guys can. I don't know when the dishwasher and microwave warning starts first at the printing. I think it's retro rather than vintage. But interesting to know if it's worth 11 million pounds. Because I thought it was, you know, like I said, the stylized print might be worth picking up. Good morning, Adele. Dave says just blame Claire. I'm not sure what to blame Claire for, but there's enough Claire's that we can blame all of them and get away with it. And Tap Dog says, hi, DVG, Lex, Claire's and Josh. Just say, we're just saying hello to Claire's as a group now, as a, as a, as a, as a section. <laughs> um, and yeah, so also in fill a bag for two quid. Remember, we're still doing this whole, this whole lot was two quid. Three comforters in for two quid. That one is um, Tiny Treasure, and I think I've sold one like that a couple of weeks ago, so that should be an easy wee list. This one looks familiar. I don't know if I've sold this one before or not. It looks familiar and it's got no label. But I'm sure I know it from somewhere. And then this one is, I think this is a B&M special. But again, I've sold this one not long ago. Is it B&M? Oh, my eyes. T uh, TJM Limited. So, yeah, the B&M stores or home bargains or something. But again, I think I've sold this one not long ago. So it's surprising that you can still pull out the bag. Talk about a random bag of stuff for two quid. Yeah, Catherine said we got a microwave early 70s. It was a very new appliance. So, so the chances are those are retro rather than vintage. Yeah. Lex says 1694 was the first microwave. 1694 or 1964, Lex? 1694 seems a little early for microwave technology. I mean, I, 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 you know more about history than I do. Good morning, Heather. I didn't realise Josh was live. I interrupted your live, Josh. Sorry if I have. Um... Uh, apparently other people would. Josh, were you live? Have I just leapt on when you were live? If I have, I can go away again and come back another day. Josh, say something. Josh, speak to me, Josh. A video. Okay, as long as I haven't interrupted your life. 1694, discovered in the Americas. What, a microwave? I feel like you might be lying, Lex. <laughs> just discovered. The Native American Indians had them first, you know. <laughs> So yeah, talk about a random bag of stuff. This is a pair of brake levers. Rally brake levers. They were 1999 when they were new and they're still new and sealed in their bag. And so then they went for two quid. Anthony will probably have those. Hi, Patricia. <laughs> oh, I haven't I haven't actually been on YouTube yet this morning. I was being very well behaved. So um, also in the two quid, let you tell lies. Oh, well, the bag was in the with the two quid as well because I've nabbed the bag for nothing. So, um, also again, a pain away pain relief pen. I have never seen one of these, and I don't know if it's, it's it seems to be new and unused. I don't know, I don't know if it's a safe thing or whether we'll all die. We won't die because I'm not getting out of the packet. A safe, effective way to soothe joint and muscle pain without using medication. Well, I have joint and muscle pain, so perhaps I'll soothe my own. Uh, uses proven tens technology blah 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 again I, I do surprisingly well with weird little um weird little pain relief stuff tens machines and stuff jesse i really must sub to your channel but i can't do it from here i must remember to go and go and find you actually on youtube i'm on Streamyard and i can't sub through here so um i got a wind in the willows audiobook i think they're all there yeah all discs are there again in for the two quid I got Emily Carr Art Gallery of Ontario, which I've never heard of, a pack of coasters. Four coasters in a tin. No idea of value, but I chucked them in for two quid. And then this bag of random makeup, which, you know, if I open the bag and it's all Clinique, then we're laughing, we're not really cooking with gas, but it's not. It's um, Garden Collection Lavender Body Wash, Lavender Body Lotion, an Avon nail colour in, what shade do we think it might be? In a pretty girly pink. Another Avon nail colour in and this was dazzle pink. What was this one? This one was candy floss. The first one was candy floss. And this one is dazzle pink. They look the light's so bad that you can't see them anyway. Everybody go sub to Jesse. Um, I don't know, Lex, but I'm willing to send it to you and then you can do a video and let us all know. <laughs> and then two boots natural collection foundations. There's probably absolutely no money here whatsoever, but it was going. They're called biscuits, so they're probably for Lex. 
yeah, there was, it was it was it's all brand new. It was unused, so it went in because I was doing. And those are oh, that's gel polish. One of those is gel polish. So that's good. And um, yes, yeah, so when you're chucking it in for two quid, why wouldn't you? Bronwyn says the best cure for period pain is an orgasm, Lex. And, and Lex says she has plenty of those. So quite why she's still got period pain. Then perhaps you're not doing it right, Lex. Have you considered that? Perhaps you're doing it wrong. We're about seven minutes in and we've already mentioned Lex's orgasms. I think that's probably a record. Ten minutes in. Okay, so all of that was two pounds. So I'm quite pleased with that. There's, there's a, a good return on two pound there for that little lot. The comforters will go for eight to fifteen each, hopefully. And that will, you know, that covers everything else. And then I've got a massive Ikea bag full of everything else I bought because I transferred it into the bag before I brought it up the stairs out of the trolley. So Kat says maybe $9.99 for the Melamine plates, although better at the beginning of the summer. Yeah, for picnics and so on and so forth. Three plates and matching mugs. So, you know, who knows? Uh, yeah, everybody's everybody rush off and sub to Jesse. Build Jesse's channel. Also, I think Josh needs his channel building. So if you're not subscribed to Josh at JD Network Reselling, pop over there and quick sub there as well. Hi, Mrs. Carroll. Okay, now because it's all in together, I'm going to struggle to remember what I paid for it because normally it comes out of the trolley in a certain order. Two Disney mugs from a chap called Luke. Hi, Luke, if you're watching. Um, he recognized me. He does that sound. Doesn't that sound, sound so? He recognized me. He said, I think I recognize your voice. And I was like, okay. And he said, is it Carl? And I said, yes, it was. And, and so I said, hello, Luke. It was nice to meet you and to buy two Disney mugs off you. And I did say that, you know, we, we should probably keep it secret because I'm not supposed to buy Disney mugs anymore. But um, anyway, this one is Disneyland Paris. And this one is a Churchill eel mug, which can't be may I up, you never know. Jesse says sub to Josh is much better than me. There's no reason why you shouldn't sub to both. <laughs> uh, this dress was a pound. This is another one I've never heard. This did get wet. This was from a lady outside. Um, no Uniform London. Has anybody heard of a brand called No Uniform London? It's a nice quality dress. Her washing powder is very nice. It smells lovely. But I've not heard of No Uniform London. It's going to take some drying. It's bottle wet. It's dry clean only. Well, tough, you're wet. It's made in Wales. Come on, Lex. No Uniform London made in Wales. Come on, tell me stuff. Do you have room for more mugs? Josh, you've seen my mug situation. You tell me. Do I have room for more mugs? <laughs> Josh, Josh nearly made room for more mugs. <laughs> Didn't you, Josh? Josh came to the office to help me on Wednesday, and he was fantastic, and we got a load done. Um... But there was a, a moment where he nearly knocked all the mugs over and I saw his heart stop just very briefly. <laughs> so he nearly made room for lots more mugs. Lex says she sneezed 17 times this morning. She's exhausted. We all know what sneezing's like. Yeah. Uh, where are we now? Heather says she's not heard of no uniform. No, nor me. They, they ha I have a hanging rack for mugs, Jesse. They're, um, they're, they're on a proper, like display rack like you would get if you went into a shop and Josh, and I said Josh's heart nearly stopped. Good morning, Carrie. You haven't missed much, love, no. But yeah, his poor little face, as he as he watched this mug, sort of massive mug rack sway, and he went, whoa. <laughs> he said, you would have killed me. I said, I would not have killed you. I would have just gone, right, we need a dustpan and brush. At the end of the day, it's only stuff. And I only paid 50p to a pound each for them. So, although we did decide there were about 200 on the rack. <laughs> DBG says there's nothing on uniform for no uniform London. The no uniform is written with no space. I don't know if that makes a difference. Let me have a quick look. Oh, my phone doesn't seem to want to play. Of course, if there's nothing on eBay, that means it's worth £11 million. Pounds. No, nope, it doesn't exist. They've made it up. They've made it up. Oh, my phone's hard. Okay. Um, from, from Steve, my car boot guy, I got. We'll come back to that because it's just some of it scattered in the bag. So, yeah, bear with, bear with me. I'll put it there in a minute and then when I find the rest of it, we'll do it one more go. I paid a pound for this one. No, I don't know why I'm buying clothes because I have many, many clothes. Mike said he's still in hospital waiting for a care package we put in place, waiting for the nurses to get him up. I really hope you're home and, and you know, living your best life again soon. Like, I know it's frustrating for you to be in hospital, particularly with this food that they've been giving you. I've seen some, some of Mike's meals on Facebook and he's, um, he's going to come out a very thin man at this rate. 
Lex says, hands up who thinks Carla and Josh should come and live next door to me. Josh should definitely buy the house next door to you. Definitely. Good morning, Antoinette. Good morning, Christine. Have I missed anyone else? Sorry if I've missed anyone. I think I said hello, Mrs. Cowell. Good morning, me lovely seller. And hi, Chrissy. I don't think I've missed anyone, but if I did, good morning. It's lovely to see you. I'm sorry if I missed you shooting up the side chat now. So yeah, this is um, this is clothing that I'm not buying anyone. It's got a flipping split in the seam that I didn't notice. Damn you, car boot bastard. It's only papaya, but it was a, a nice print. I'll still sell it. I'll just repair it. I hate sewing. Bugger it. Bugger it. Millennium Hand and Shrimp. Terry Pratchett reference there for anyone who knows. These were... Hang on, there's another one somewhere in the bag. We'll get to him in a minute. Here's an interesting one. At least I think it's interesting. You don't mind the four shirts. I paid a pound for this. It's Tupperware. I can see it's Tupperware. No question about that. Bear with me, there's another bit somewhere. I can't bloody work out what it is. I know that might sound weird, but this bit is plainly a Tupperware pot. No question there. I can acknowledge and recognise pots when I see them. Oh, Josh has found no uniform is a bespoke uniform design company that creates award winning looks and truly unique and sophisticated brand identities. Doesn't look like a uniform dress. How odd. So, um, founded by Nicholas Oakwell. Well, uh, thank you, Josh. I'll um, see what I can do with that. Lainey says I'm going to be an M tomorrow. I've never been to one as I've not been in the shop for over 12 years. And I'm a little bit excited to say at least though my bank won't be. Lainey, you are coming out of there bankrupt, mate. b and bad enough if you're used to it. You are coming out of there with nothing. You are coming out with everyone's stuff, but you're not going to make. I haven't had it done yet, Mrs. Carroll. I've got to go and count up which ones, and then Lex and I are going to go until that Lex can film me doing it. So I haven't had it done yet, but I will be having it done. And, and as yet, I don't know which one won because I haven't been back and counted up the votes. But I will. I, it will be happening. I'm going to get Lex to come with me. Carrie says it's for storing ice cubes. I don't see. I, I've only shown you this bit. This bit is the pot. The pot part, not difficult. This is the complicated part. There are three of these sections. They do not fit inside the tub, but they do go with the tub. The lady was selling it, didn't they? If you find out, come back and let me know. They do go with the tub, and this bit fits. It fits on there perfectly well. They stack. I don't know if they're meant to stack, but they do. They don't fit. They don't fit inside the tub. Did somebody said you said ice trays? Ah. So I make triangle shaped ice cubes and then I store them inside the tub. Is that what you're telling me? Carrie says her mum used to sell Tupperware, so she knows stuff. Carrie, you I think you are probably my lifesaver. So yeah, so it stacks like so does it stack like that for storage then? Is this is what does it stack? Sue says you put water in the tray. Hi Sue. And then store the tub. Perfect. People, you know stuff. So does it stack like that for storage? Where's my camera? Is that is that what it's meant to look like when it's being stored? Because the lady, like, I was like, it's not a juicer. <laughs> there's no way for, there's no way it's a juicer. I was proper confused. You people are wonderful. I rely on you people to know stuff and then I don't have to know anything, which is my normal state of um, state of mind, knowing nothing. Lovely. So I've got a Tupperware ice cube maker and store, and I have no idea what it's worth, but it cost me a quid. <laughs> Yeah, you will get to see, Mrs. Carroll, absolutely. You will definitely get to see. Um, these three, I believe, these three were 50p, yes. So that one is um, just F and F, just an F and F white bunny rabbit. But these are, you know, surprise, surprisingly go quite well sometimes, things like this, because it's the kind of thing you buy for your child, it gets attached to and then it loses and you have to replace. That one's an Ellie comforter from Ellie and Raph. I actually I have lots of those already, but they were three for 50p, so when they went. And that one, there's George Comforter. I sold one of those only yesterday, so sorry, hiccups again. Fun Stuff 24 is in and says it's 5 30 a.m. in Texas. Oh, I haven't gone to bed yet. Never get to see you live. Yay, insomnia lol. Welcome, Fun Stuff 24. And hi, Bex. If I see you sneak in there somewhere and I didn't see you peeping in as well. <laughs> and there's another Claire in, so we're on our Claire, Claire, Claire count four, I think. Have we got four Claire's or three Claire's? I don't know. Claire, stand up, please. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so of course you can, darling. Of course you can get a tattoo as well. We'll get tattoos all round. I was quite pleased with these two. These were two for 50p. They're both jelly cat. I'm hoping this one is worth an absolute bomb. I feel that the spotty ones, I, I feel like this is a little bit of knowledge that was in the back of my brain somewhere. The, the 
polka dot bashful bunnies were worth more. And I don't know if it's true or whether my brain's playing tricks on me. Um, let's have a quick look, shall we? Jelly cat. Dot bunny. Let's put in dot bunny and see what that comes out with. Four clairs. We are on four clairs. Four, cla four clairs reporting for duty. You're right there, buddy. Oh, Molly's sneaking around her desk because she knows damn well she's in disgrace, aren't you, Molly? You are very much in the doghouse. I don't think I want to talk to you. I'm not your friend. Don't you dare steal my stuff. We're not friends today. We're not friends, Molly and I. Oh, there we go. The Bubbles Bashful Bunny, which is red and white spots, has gone for $38.99. Um, this one is not red and white. This one is pink and grey, which is nicer. There's another one there for $39.99. So, yeah, hopefully this one is... Um, this is today's pickup of the day. The the same one in green and pink polka dots, $39.99. This one has gone for $29.99. This is Bashful Clover Bunny and Pink Polka Dots. So yeah, that wasn't that wasn't bad then, since they were two for fifty. Where the hell's the camera? Two for fifty P. Molly knows damn well she's in disgrace. Yeah, look at her face. Look at her I've been naughty face. Uh -huh. So I've missed some hellos. Let me just um have a quick set. So, uh, me love reseller says, has anybody got a jewels blazer with yellow cuffs or turn ups in a size 12 to 14? I don't, but somebody else might. Hi, Neville. Um, Molly has not eaten Natalie. Uh, Molly, uh, Molly has eaten her way through Anthony's first aid kit that was left on the table in the front room. So she has consumed some ibuprofen gel, some pseudocrem, some anthocyan bite and sting ointment, um, at least one antihistamine, possibly a painkiller. Um, and quite a lot of um, gauze strips and 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 pads. So, and also most of the bag. She's eaten her way through most of the bag. I'm really hoping that she's got a cast iron constitution because otherwise she might be a very ill dog. So basically, all I can do is keep an eye on her. Hopefully, she hopefully she won't be too ill. I think a lot, quite a lot of the ibuprofen gel was more smeared all over her bed and her blanket and her fur than actually smeared inside her stomach. She seems fine. She's full of the joys of spring, apart from the fact that she's in the doghouse and she's unhappy about that. She seems okay apart from that. But um, you, can't, you literally can't, we didn't even realise it was in reach. She just, she's a very long dog. She helps herself to anything she wants, basically. So she's in disgrace, aren't you, Moo? Go on downstairs. Like, if you're not talking to me, I'll go downstairs. There is going to be a weekly waffle video tonight. Yeah, they go, but I put them up very late on a... Sunday night, so I, I complete Sunday's filming and then I edit it Sunday evening, hopefully while I'm watching Nick and Andrea. And then um, she, she seems fine. Um, and like I said, I think probably she's bitten into the tubes and realised they don't taste very nice and not actually consumed much of that. Probably bitten, yeah, you know. But um, yeah, she seems fine. She's just got to stop destroying stuff. But yeah, there will be a weekly waffle video tonight, yes. So this is the other one. This is also Jelly Cat. This one is... Um, I'm not used to the bashful bunnies that wear dresses. Some of them have names on. Excuse me, Squinton. I can't see a damn thing with these glasses. This one's Little Jelly Cat. But yeah, so even that one should hopefully be worth way more than the 25p that I paid for it. There is quite a lot of Josh in this week's Weekly Waffle, yeah. <laughs> Josh has claimed to fame. He's in the waffle. I'm not sure that's fame. Here's one for you, Lex. I bought this and I thought of you. It's got a very vintage smell. <laughs> This is a vintage dressing gown, men's vintage dressing gown. I'm not sure what era. I would say 50s. It's the kind of thing that Doctor Who wore in the one where he wasn't very well. Um, it's got the, where's the thing hammer? It's got the cord design on the sleeves. It's a, a plaid design. It's the tie belt, which was, was yeah, very granny smell. The tie belt one I was expecting missing, that's there as well. Oh, it really does smell awfully, awfully vintage. Oh. Um, so, yeah, we've got the cord belt, which is in, in quite nice condition as well. I paid a pound and I was like, what would Lex do? And I was like, I was like, Lex would buy that. And I was like, but it smells bad. It smells. It's not it's not, it's not like unclean smell. It's just fucking ancient smell. And it's got one or two tiny little holes. But I mean, really tiny, like pinprick holes. Um, sorry, I can't get any further back to show you it properly, but and the label just says made in England, made in England stitching. It reminds me actually very strongly 
of the dressing gowns that the Pavenzi boys wore when they went into Narnia. I don't know whether you all, I don't know whether you remember that in the original illustrations. It's, it's, defi it's a, definitely a dressing gown. It's um, the kind of heavy wool dressing gown stuff. It doesn't have run, it just says made in England on it. But yeah, if you remember the, if you remember the first, oh Christ, if I could remember the end of my fucking sentence, that'd be a bonus. If you remember the first adaptation of the Narnia books when they made them into films and they set them because the Narnia books were set sort of wartime-ish or just after the war. And um, yeah, those those cardigans, that's the kind of thing that Pavenzi boys wore as they went through the wardrobe into Narnia. So they're very, it's very, very vintage and it's, and it does enough smell like it. Heather says it'll go well. I believe smoking jackets are a bit more with the um, the velvet collar, aren't they? And, the, and a bit more tie... I know what I'm thinking of, I just can't get words out. DBG says, item condition, clean but fucking ancient. Absolutely. <laughs> See, that was a quid. And while we were doing vintage, we did these. These were 50p each. Good old style candy stripe sheets. She said they've been washed but stored and they need washing again. And I think she was right because they've got a few storage marks on there. I don't know where they're from. I can't find the end of them. They seem to go on and on and on. Paint outside for a week, it'll smell better. Yeah, it is wool, yeah. Oh, right, you smoking jacket and robe is a keyword anyway. 100% um, cotton made in Portugal, hand wash, blah, blah, blah. Just old, yeah, standard old pastel candy stripe sheets. Two of, 50 pence each. Yeah, Elaine Ray says we had those sheets when I was young. I think we did as well. These are cotton rather than flannel. I think we had them in flannelette. But yeah, we all had them, didn't we? We all had them in the 70s. If you were around in the 70s, these are the sheets you had. I'm running out of space. <laughs> Gosh, I thought the girl was really drunk because he's just a boy. Right, hang on. I'm going to fall into the bag or rather I'm going to try not to fall into the bag. Okay. Five David Williams, four paperbacks, one hardback, three quid the lot. I said to her, how much of your book? She said, oh, well, she wanted a pound each. And I was like, for paperbacks? And she went, oh, no, not for the paperbacks, I don't think, no. So it was um, three quid the lot. Three quid the lot on the Midnight Gangs in there as well, which is one of the newer ones. So um, it does make me laugh. They put stuff on the front, like free hospital dinner inside. Plainly it isn't. <laughs> but, yeah, so that, that's, that probably goes a bundle on its own. I might have a couple to add to it. Oh, yeah, I've got awful anti there that I can add to it from last week. So, um Bob the Builder Sheets, Josh, I said. <laughs> or maybe Fireman Sam. Oh, here's that. Anthony's just come up with the other stuff I bought. Thanks, Ant. Uh, last bit slightly out of bag is the other stuff I got from Steve. And a little bundle of stuff. Hi, Kimberly. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze, Kimberly. That's a lot of vintage shit. Bear with. Bless me. And Lex says, how are you today? Yeah. He's eh, apparently. Lex says, he didn't have Bob the Builder sheets. We had a huge Bob Build play set. Mate, next time I see Bob the Builder sheets, I'll pick you some up to make up for your deprived childhood. This is a bundle. I'm, I'm sorry about the wrapping. Bear with A bundle of... I got done by a babby. I got done by a little kid. So there was a, a huge pile of optimal stuff. And I stood there and I was about to start going, yes, I'll have all of this, because the little lad said it was like, oh, this is 10p and this is 20p. And I was about to buy the lot. And there was a small child came rushing over and started playing with it. And I was like, I'd like to buy this, but this small child is going to become upset. I'll just stand here politely and wait for the small child to go away. And then the small child's parents came over and bought most of it. And I was like, I was buying that. Bugger. So I ended up with a very small bundle of Octonauts, but I've got other Octonaut stuff that I'm going to add it to. So for 50p, I've got a small quantity of the four people and a little gut thing. And then I seem to have a shark and a stingray, and I don't even know what that is. And yeah, small quantity of Octonaut bits and bobs for 50p. And they chucked in some playing cards, which I didn't want to have. So that can just sit there until I knock it on the floor in a minute. That'd be ideal. And then from Steve Carboot Guy, I got 
this will hopefully be today's find of the day. They're not in mint condition, but even so, this is calf kids and cutlery. It's Provence Rose, I think, is the pattern. Although I'm, I'm willing to be corrected if I'm wrong. It's slightly faded on the handles. You can't see the colour. Can you? Where the hell is that camera? There it is. Slightly faded on the handles. <laughs> Lex says, rule one, screw the kids, get the tat. Jojo says, stuff the kids, lol. Josh says, use your trolley to secure the ground, Connor. No one passes the trolley. I was just being nice. I shouldn't be nice to children. I'm not good at it. It doesn't come naturally. So I've had a look for the calf kids and cutlery. Some of it's gone for £110. I don't think mine is in good enough condition to go for £110, but I paid five and I think I can easily get 20, possibly up to 50 with a little bit more with a little bit more research. So because I've got four each of knives, forks and spoons, I've got no teaspoons. The knives are surprisingly sharp. For just an ordinary table knife, that's a surprisingly sharp knife. So, yeah, some of the handles are faded. You can't see the, the fading very well, I don't think. For, strangely enough, the spoon and knife handles are faded, but not the forks. I wonder if that's how they had it stored or something. But yeah, so that was a fiver from Steve the Carver. Go, hi, Karen. I've got, a, I've got an eel mug here somewhere, Karen. I don't know if there's one you've already got. Where's the camera? There's the camera. It says, just being me on the other side. So yeah, that was from Steve. And then a Pampered Chef Chopper from Steve for two quid. Carrie says, I made a rookie mistake again this week, sent two items to the wrong people. One is kind of cooperating going forward on, but then one for source. I've had exactly that situation where one forwarded it on and the original person ended up with both. I had that exact thing happen to me. It's bloody annoying. Sorry, the camera's gone a bit wonk again, hasn't it? Am I sharper? You don't have that one. Uh-huh. Are you allowed any more mugs is the question. Yeah, I've had that exact situation, Carrie, and the, and the one person ended up with the two things. And I've also made that rookie mistake this week and sent someone the wrong item. However, what, I didn't get too mixed up. I just sent them the wrong item. So I sent them the right item on straight afterwards. And then also from Steve, basically chucked these two in free because I was spending seven quid. That's a paper chase organiser. It's not a file of facts. It's a paper, paper chase organiser. And another comforter. This one needs washing. This one's a bit grub. This one is Jane Co Limited. I've sold one of these this week as well. Not this particular one, but Jane Co one. So there we go. That's it, apart from the Polly Pocket stuff, which I'm already regretting. So there is an enormous quantity of Polly Pocket here, which I've paid 20 pounds the lot for. I don't like Polly Pocket. I don't know why I bought it. It was cheap. Karen says she might be served with divorce papers. That's clothes, little rubber Polly Pocket clothes. This is all clothes and outfits. This is cloth clothes, not rubber clothes. This is rubber clothes. This is dolls and clothes. This is trousers. That's all handbags and accessories. Huge amount now. I do not know what... Does anybody sell Polly Pocket stuff? This is the more modern stuff, not the vintage. But does anybody sell this stuff and have any idea what we're looking at here? Because I've also got... And some of this is wet. Because, like I said, it absolutely hammered down just as we arrived. The poor people who were outside were drenched. Don't even know how to open this. This is kind of like a, a filing cabinet wardrobe. I think it goes that way. Yeah. So, and this is also full of accessories and stuff. Some of it's now falling in the back of there. That's annoying. Yeah. This is this is drawers full of accessories and bits and bobs. And, and I've buggered that up and I can't close that now. Hooray! So I'm sorry, I just really can't see, can you? So that's that. And then, oh God, oh God. Hang on, bear with. Another huge box of it there. All Polly Pocket. And then a boat. A Polly Pocket bloody sailing ship. And two Polly Pocket bags with I don't even know what the hell else is in here. I paid 20 quid the lot, surely. I mean, that's full of actual dolls. That's, that's literally, that's full to the brim of, of dolls and more rubber clothes and God knows what else. How much this woman must have spent on this stuff? Uh, God. And that one's furniture. 
Mrs. Carroll says, I've sold some. It does okay, but it's faffy to sort out. Do you know, I might sell it as a job lot and not sort it out because I will hate doing it. I will fucking loathe sorting that. That's my idea of hell. So I might just sell the lot as a job lot. Next, says, it's been seven hours and 15 days and you're still going on about Polly Pocket. It's been seven hours and 15 days since you took your love away. Should I shake my head? Do, 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 do. So, if anybody sells Polly Pocket and A, is interested in buying a massive bundle off me, or B, knows what I should list it at, because there is a lot of it, then do let me know. Because I will hate researching it. I, the moment I bought it, I regretted it. Literally, as soon as I walked away, I was like, why have you done that? Why do you buy kids' toys? You don't like kids' toys. You don't have children. You don't know anything about kids' toys. Stop doing this. Stop buying stuff. <laughs> Kirsten says sell it in several bundles. Oh, dear. And DBG says, please don't sing that whack job songs. DBG, if I don't sing based on the fact that, that people might be an idiot, then I'm going to I'm gonna run out of stuff to sing very quickly because quite a lot of them are, are maniacs. Quite a lot of them. Hey, you. How are you feeling? You okay? You don't feel sick at all? I feel fine. I'm full of drugs. She, she, she seems okay. She seems okay. So that's today's haul. Hopefully the cutlery will bring in enough money to cover everything else don't know what I can sell my vintage dressing gown at, but I do know I've got to get some of that vintage smell out. The Pampa Chef Chop is a good buy. The David Wallian books are always safe. The Little Jelly Cat's a good buy. It's been a good day. Sail Away 75 says, won't reselling Polly know about them Polly Pockets? And I think she bloody will. You're right. Yes. I will message Sam and say, right, Sam, tell me some stuff or, or better still buy this stuff off me. Stephen Bennett says I would sell it as one bundle for 80 quid. Yeah, see, I'd be very happy with that. If I got £80 return for 20 and didn't have to sort through it, I'd be quite happy with that. So, Karen says she's currently stripping paint off a radiator. Well, she hasn't started as a nightmare, yeah. Um, Ads is in. Good morning, Ads. Shiv's in. Good morning, Shiv. <laughs> she said, Molly, your nuts get well soon. She's not unwell. She's fine. <laughs> she should be unwell. <laughs> um, Mrs. Kel says sell each bag separately, £20 each. It's not just the bags though, Mrs. Carroll, it's all the other bloody shite as well. I don't know why I buy this stuff. It's because I know there's money in it. I make this mistake constantly. It's like the Octonauts. I've got this little bundle here with a bloody great load of it in the loft that I haven't done anything with. In the loft, out of sight, out of mind. I've got hiccups. Sorry. <laughs> hi, Karen. Oh, sorry, I've already said hi. I mean, Karen says, can you tell I'm not wearing my specs? Not from here, love. Adele says, I've just bought an auction bundle of vintage Barbies, accessories and clothes with a vintage Lucy Locket. I'm selling smaller bundles, never done. Get my Lucy money back with Lucy Locket. Yeah, see, I, I don't do auctions. I'm scared of going to, oh, going to auctions in case I buy a wardrobe by blinking or something. Hold the hold my hiccups. See, it's a funny little haul, but um, I think there's some really good, oh God, some really good money in here. <laughs> I'm looking at a good return. Like I said, I spent £44 in total. <laughs> £44 in total, and I'm easily going to get the back. <gasps> no, you may not have them for £13 or 5p. Oh, God. Hang on. Bear with her. This isn't off for that. Oh, Sam, we were just talking about, about you. <laughs> in between hiccups, I was just talking about you, Sam. Josh has went to the new charity shop in Bradley Stoke and it's crap hole, a minimum of £4.50 per bit of clothing and £2 per soft toy. Hopefully their prices will come down at some point. Oh. <gasps> Hopefully their prices will come down and be more manageable when they realise they're not selling. Sam, I bought an awful lot of poly, oh, poly pocket. <laughs> Can somebody give me a shock? Like, by not eating something for five minutes. <laughs> That'd be a surprise. I bought an awful lot of Polly Pocket, Sam, and I need you to tell me either what it's worth or make me an offer on it or buy it off me so I never have to look at it again or something. I'll send you a picture or something afterwards. Oh, this hiccups. Why are we talking about Car Carmen's pants?
I don't know why we're talking about Paris, uh, Karen's pants. I missed that part. Hi, Tracy Eastman. Hi, Peter Ray. <laughs> Lex is taking the piss out of my hiccups. <laughs> okay, hold your breath and swallow as many times as you can. Okay. Two was as many as I could do. I could only swallow twice. There was nothing left to swallow with. Will that work, do you think? Joe says a spoonful of sugar called cures hiccups. I wonder if a Twix would work the same way. <laughs> so Sam says drink a glass of water standing on your head. I can't see that happening somehow since I've been able to stand on my head since I was eight. And I'm now 46. Good God, it's nearly 40 years since I've stood on my head. When you think of it like that, it's scary, isn't it? I'm not scared of spiders, Lex. I'm not scared of spiders. Unlike you, who I watched in one of your vlogs last week, prancing around the kitchen like a baby. Like a baby. Trying to get away from a teeny tiny spider and nearly having a heart attack when your mum picked it up. I saw that. The whole world saw that. Wasps. Not so keen on wasps. And by the way, we stole one of your wasps on Tuesday. <laughs> Went to Wales to see Lex on Tuesday. Got a wasp in the car in the car park in Bridge End. It didn't get out of the car until Thursday in Bristol. So now there's a very lost Welsh wasp wandering around Bristol speaking a foreign language. <laughs> the hiccups have gone. Hooray! <laughs> now that would be surprising, Lex. Dildos with eyes, Heather? Dog vomiting behind you. That's more like it, isn't it? Is anybody vomiting? No, well, you ought to be. Do you want to come and be forgiven? Come on. Can you get past the body pocket? I can't get past the body pocket, so let's see how you're going to. This is a large, stupid quantity of stuff. Why did I buy all this stuff? Sam, this is a seriously large amount of stuff. I'll give you an idea, Sam. These bags of clothing are the smallest part of the haul. Where the hell is the camera? That's the smallest part of the haul. There's so much stuff here. Jesse says there was a wasp in the bus the other day. Small child decided it'd be fun to play with it and mum was not happy. <laughs> Adele tried to stand on her head drunk one time and nearly became paraplegic as I was about 15 stone heavier. <laughs> Hi Lisa. Kirsten says last time I went on a bus there was a mouse on it. What was a mouse doing on the bus? It is not working too badly, Josh, thank you. What was a mouse doing on the bus? Just going somewhere, having a day out. Was he driving, Lex says. <laughs> oh, why are you all here? Not that all of you are here, but there's 93 of you here. So hello, 93 people. There's not 93 people in the chat. If you're watching and you'd like to join us in the chat, we're always welcome. We're always, we're always um, sending that. We're always nice to new people as long as they're nice to us. Lex says, the uh, Karen said the box I sent myself from Suffolk is still sitting unopened in the living room pad reseller. <laughs> um, but yeah, while you're all here, I thought I might do a questions and answers video. So if anybody has any questions or answers, please pop them in the comments below this video afterwards. Lex, I won't answer yours, so don't bother. <laughs> but yeah, stick your, stick your questions that you'd like answered in the comments and I'll do a question answer video. I thought that might be fun. Peter's come straight in with a question. Did you get any videos when I saw Lex? Yes, but there is some filming from Tuesday and it will be going up in tonight's vlog, Peter. And Lex says, no, no new people. Little Mouse ran out of a lady's bag and then there were three of us trying to catch something. Did she know it was in her bag? <laughs> and DBG says I broke a sweeping brush in half off a mouse one mouse once a fucking mouse about leave the mice alone. There's one in my parents' shed, we call it Gary. <laughs> Bear in mind if you've got one in your shed, you've probably got a lot more than one, but they all have very similar faces. Nice. So you can't really but we call it Gary. And um Natalie makes me laugh because before she goes into the shed, she shouts, Gary, I'm coming in, make sure you've got your clothes on. <laughs> Sail away nineteen seventy five. Would you sleep with Morton Harkett still? I don't know. It depends what he looks like now. I would have done then. I would have done terrible things to him then. Let's have a look and see what he looks like now. Oh, he's, he's, um, he's older looking, but then aren't we all? 
2016 that was. Yeah, he's aged a little bit. But then we have all that. We're, we're none of us have. I don't look how I did 40 years ago, funnily enough. In fact, he's probably aged better than I have, so perhaps I shouldn't criticise. Joe says the mouse in, mouse in my shed died and 2,000 relatives came to its funeral. <laughs> And Lex is burgling me, apparently. I'm not sure why. She'd been to see her horses and it had hitched a lift in her bag. <laughs> oh, you can have my share of him, Lisa. I don't mind. I'm menopausal. I've lost any urge to do anything at all, ever. Too much to say. I still can't work out how to comment on videos other than live chat. Um, do you view videos on your phone too much stuff or on the computer? If you're viewing on your phone, the comments are all the way down the bottom past the adverts for other videos. And if you don't know they're there, you might miss them. Sailor Way says you should check out the MTV Unplugged concert from October 2017. I will do. I'll have a look. And Karen, yes, yeah, so people are telling uh, too much stuff to scroll down to the bottom. Josh did some other way. What did you get, Josh? I mean, you don't have to tell us, but, you know, is it is it your usual kind of Lego stuff or did you branch out into new things? I saw that you nearly got arrested for doing it because you're lurking too much around the RA section, around the sale bit. Um, I don't have anything else to show you. I don't have anything else worth saying. Like I said, I thought I'd do a questions and answers video, so please put those in the comments, otherwise I won't know about them. Lisa says, I, I had my menopause when I was 38 and I don't want shares of Morton. I want all. You can have him. You can have him. I don't mind. I'm feeling generous. Have him. You can definitely have the other two as well. Have all three. Have them on me. However, I might get a bit possessive about David Tennant if that ever comes into play. So just be warned. Stationary, I see. Right. What time is it? Do we know what time it is? It's 12 o'clock. I've got to tidy up this mess. Surprise, surprise. Bet you didn't know that was coming. Tidy up this mess. I'm going to Costco this afternoon because the dogs need dog food. Even the dogs that are full of medication that they shouldn't have had need dog food. She looks okay. But I don't think she's dying. Are you all right? Are you okay? Do you want to come and say hello? Come on then. Squirm me through. You're bringing your tube. Come on then. Hello. Yeah, I know. You've got the inside of it. Yeah, you love tape tubes. If you just chewed the inside of sellotapes, that would be okay. If you didn't, go through Anthony's first aid kit and help yourself to stuff that you shouldn't have. That would be fine. I love you. Yeah, I know. Everyone was cross, yeah, because she was stupid. Okay, Carissa says she just posted three videos. Lisa's having a party, apparently. Sam says I bought shitloads of tat today. Fill the bloody car. I don't need stock. That's a shame because I want to sell you some. Oh, God. Hang on. There we go. There we go. You're not really a little baby anymore for this. You're quite big now. This, this is this sitting on laps thing is for little babies, really. Yeah, I love you too. Please, no kisses, just snooks. Good girl, just snooks. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go now. You're gonna take that with you. Yeah, I forgive you. I forgive you. Okay, slide down. Good girl. Good girl. Take your other leg with you. Good girl. Okay. Carmen's doing a thousand item declutter thing. She's only managed about forty items so far. I could do a thousand item declutters without moving from this chair. Literally. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Carroll. She is adorable, but she is extremely naughty. Don't piss Buddy off because he'll rip your legs off. I've told him he's allowed. Lisa, you've missed it all, love. You came in late and missed the entire haul. But I bought all this stuff that you didn't see. You'll have to watch it back from the beginning. Molly's eating her way through Anthony's first aid kit, Karen. So she's full of ibuprofen gel, pseudocrem, anthosan. She nearly got his inhaler, but we got home before she bit through that. I don't know what happens if you bite through an, a gas canister and an inhaler. I've no idea. Presumably you don't you don't come out of it that well. Um, bandages, dressings, um, antihistamine tablets, paracetamol. She's, she's yeah, she's she's an idiot. Idiot is what she is. Rebecca says, I'm sorting stickers and maybe opening a new file of fax note from Planner event yesterday. Lisa says she'll watch the call back later. Yeah, Rebecca sent me pictures and I'm going through Bristol. I was like, oh my God, you're like two doors down from my office. <laughs> so yeah, um, I need to tidy up this stuff and then I need to go to Costco, get dog food. 
and then do some listing. I did do some listing early this morning. I sat and did 15 drafts before I went to the car boot sale. That's how good I've been today. Lisa says, why did she or that? You're not feeling her. She ate all that because she's an idiot. That's exactly why, Lex, because she's an idiot. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'm hoping to persuade Lex to come over and stay for a couple of days sometime, at some point soon. Yeah, Le yes, Lex, Costco, yes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to persuade Lex to come over and stay for a couple of days, maybe maybe later this week, who knows. Carmen says, I'm very lucky with Monty, he only eats Darren's socks. Clean ones or dirty ones? Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Tidy up, go to Costco, and then come back and do many, many listings. I will send you a message, Sam. I'll send you a photograph, and you can firstly tell me what you think I've done, whether you think I'm very stupid, and then we'll talk from there. If you want to buy it off me, Sam, as a bulk, I would far rather sell it to somebody who actually gives a shit about it as well, because I won't, I won't sort through it. I, 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 what I'll probably do if I can't sell it as a bulk is put it in the fucking loft and forget about it for ten years, because I, I'm already regretting buying it. Ian says the bacon book was in a job lot and he couldn't resist sending it. That that features in this week's vlog that'll be going up tonight. The bacon book. Let, uh, Natalie was very pleased. And Monty only eats smelly socks. Curse is cleaning because her mum's coming. Lex can't come and stay this week. It's Cardiff Pride at the weekend. And her best mate is Beth. Beth mate? My best mate? Why have I best mate? Why have I got so much tongue? Her best mate is in charge of it because he's chief gay. He's like, is, is it the only gay in the village? Or the chief gay in the village? Lisa says, one of my cats likes to unthread the sewing machine and eat the thread. I'm forever pulling thread out of his bum. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Thank you all for joining me this morning. I'll tell you who's missing. She's always flipping is missing. Where are you, Mandy Michelle? Don't know where you are, love. Don't know where you are. No, you don't normally miss us. Oh, I sold a turtle there once. I hated posting it. It was a bugger to pack. Absolute bastard to pack. You've done a silly thing. You will regret that. <laughs> right. Thank you to the 85 people who've watched. And I can't tell whether I've got any likes or dislikes. For all I know, I can have 85 dislikes and I won't know. But if you haven't, if you've liked it and you haven't said so, hit the like button. If you're not, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribey thing. Um, it's packing over 27 orders. Adendri says, you've got to be joking. Adendri, why do you always wander in just when I'm leaving? <laughs> I think you wait outside the door until you hear me say I'm going and then go, ha, ha, pop in now. <laughs> Sorry, Adendri, I'm just going. Hit the like button if you haven't done that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and you should get notified when I'm going live. <coughs> Adendry. <coughs> Everybody, and I am getting my tattoo soon. Like I said, I'm going to go and count up the votes on that. Work out which one I've got to get and that will be happening soon. So thank you for watching. I love you all. Have a cracking Sunday and a wonderful week. And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>